Hello friends. How are you doing? Yes? Let me know when you're on here. You can leave a comment or say something or introduce yourself to other people. That's always friendly. Um, my name is Vicki Emerson. I had every single show in March canceled as of the end of business today. So, um, I might be doing a few of these here and there. So, uh, if you are enjoying the show, you can uh, do a little PayPal or a Venmo. All that stuff is on there, on there somewhere um, at the top of the post. Anyway, um, I'm going to sing some songs for you. I had, um, I've had kind of a day, I think you probably have two, right? And so I'm having some wine and my wine glass, I think this is from my friend Sarah Morris, it says, step aside coffee, this is a job for alcohol. Yes, okay, enough talking. You didn't tune in to hear me talk. Well, maybe you did, because sometimes I can be funny, so. Which I will bring, I will bring. I might never be good enough for your love, for your love. I might never be good enough. My heart feels like a stone and a day. I'm proud of the mess I've made. i uh -huh. 
guys. I see more people joining. I say hi, Mitch. Hi, Tyler. Oh, hi, Amber, Gina. I love this. Keep all the comments. Although I'll tell you, I'm like reading them and trying to remember my lyrics at the same time. That's kind of wild. That's like a total good workout for the brain. Um, I wanted to say, if you like my painting, that a friend of mine, her name is Emily Frank. She is just like crazy amazing uh, artist. She's Emily Frank. You can Google her and find her. She's local here in Minneapolis. And that one is called Women Who Work. Yes. <clears throat> so if I was at, at a house concert, there might have been giggling there. So maybe there's giggling where you are. I hope so. I have to tell you, my children, I've come to terms with the fact that my kids are going to be home for a, a, a lot, you know? And um, it's like, okay, okay. So then I had this morning, I was like, uh, what was that? Zachary, save all my crying? Yes, 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 for you. Only if you can sing harmony there in the background. Um, uh, I had them put together like schedules, like, you know, you know, my daughter like put like math, reading, this is when I usually eat lunch. Um, and then she had like a gym or exercise. And my son wrote down yummy snack, yummy snack, yummy snack, exercise a little, yummy snack, yummy snack. I mean, it's not a bad way to go. Um, maybe throw in another exercise if you're gonna have those yummy snacks. But <laughs> it was just like the difference between what she said and he said, I was like, oh my gosh, and yes, I kept it. I need to take a picture of it. He gets real shy when I like take, uh, take a picture of anything because he's like, don't put it on the internet, mom. I'm like, yeah, but last week you finished your math homework and actually got almost everything wrong and in, instead of answering the questions, you just wrote, I want a dog. So, you know, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna... You're gonna find your way onto the internet for sure. Let's see here. So let's do, I have, there was a request there, so let's do that. We'll do Save All My Crying here. This house is hollow. Silence is the good thing. Shit. 
weird without anybody here so I'm gonna make funny noises like that after I sing a song maybe huh I'm gonna have a sip of my wine because hey like I said when I started this show my wine glass really is prophetic today it says step aside coffee this is a job for alcohol yes what was I gonna tell you guys oh that song save all my crying you're welcome Zachary <laughs> um that song is so funny. It took me so long to write that song. Songs are, are funny that way because sometimes they can just like be written so quickly and other times they it's the craft of songwriting. Like for instance, I wrote that song probably 10 years ago or started it I, and I had that one line, I save all my crying for Sunday afternoons and I remember writing it down going, hey, high fives, that's a good line, you know? And then I wrote just a, just a ton of real bad lyrics to that great line. And, um, and then it, I, you know, back before I started doing some of these Facebook challenge, songwriting challenges, I used to write a song and then play it from my couch. And then the couch and I would like make a call like, is another human being going to listen to that? No. And that song was like, oh, hell, heck no. Oops, littles, heck no. Um, and so I, uh, I just put it in the song graveyard and I left it alone. And then I moved around a lot. I moved from... St. Paul to New York to San Francisco and then back to Minneapolis and um, I had the storage locker with all this stuff in it forever and then when I unpacked it and went through all the stuff um, I found the song graveyard and this on top it was in a box on top was that song and I was like you know what that is still a good line but it's like whoa those are bad lyrics Vicki so then I what I did was I just took that just one good line, kept it, and I had written it on the piano, and I moved it over to the guitar, and I literally, you guys, took out 75% of the chords. Yeah, it was like, well, this is a country song, so that means like three chords in the truth, right? That's what it is. So that's how that song came to be. Now this one, I co-wrote, now and co write it, you guys. I have gone through phases of loving it, hating it, back to uh, really enjoying it again. Um, I wrote this song with Graham Bramblett, who's my little buddy down in, he lives in Nashville now. And uh, I was supposed to go to Folk Alliance. And I, this was a few years ago, like three years ago, bought my ticket, had my or registration, had a hotel room, all the things. And then um, I was diagnosed with pneumonia right before it. So of course you can't go, you know. So I had to cancel the whole thing. And it was a real bummer. But he texts me. He's like, I know you're home. You want to write a song? I was like, dude, I can barely breathe. So maybe let's just uh, wait till that can happen. And then let's try. A few days later, I felt better. And I was, you know, getting over it. And I said, okay, why don't you come over? So he came over and he actually sat, like we sat in these little, there's chairs right here. Sat in these chairs and he'd asked me if I had anything kind of buzzing around. And that's kind of like how co-writing goes. Like, it's, do you have something that's, you know, floating around? And I had this chorus, um, well, most of it, one line was missing. Um, but I had the melody in that and, I, and most of the words. And I was like, you know, it kind of kept chasing me around. I can tell like with a chorus or a song that generally wants to be written is it just like kind of sits in my head and then I, it's like an earworm, you know? So it'll just sit there until I write it and then it's out. But, um, but this chorus had been kind of sitting around for a bit and um, I had played it for him. And he says, you know, I really like that. Let's write that song. And you know what? We buckled down and I bet maybe an hour later we had... We had it done. There was one line that wasn't quite finished, and uh, we finished that probably a few weeks later. So sometimes th that drives me nuts. Like if you work on a song and there's like one song missing or one line missing, oh my gosh, like my uh, my issues can't handle that. <laughs> All right, so let's see. This is called the reckoning. 
I hear the hive buzzing. I feel the storm rolling in. And thunder chasing the lightning. I never Facebook challenge before and um, we actually get one on Sunday I'm sure now that we're all gonna be cooped up uh, every songwriter is like give me the give me the prompt give me the prompt and um, so right now we have two weeks to write a uh, write a song and I finished this one this was two prompts ago um, you know this kind of stuff like really terrified me and Sarah Morris was great she really pushed me to try this um, she was persistent and I, I didn't want to do it because here's the thing, I, I don't mind a deadline and I don't mind somebody giving me a prompt to write a song about. That, that, those things actually I really don't mind at all. And, but the thing that bothered me is when you finish the song, I mean, it's done, you take a video of yourself and then post it on, on the page, on the singer songwriter challenge page and then everybody watches it and like makes comments and oh my gosh, even talking about it right now, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Yeah, because like I said, I just really like to uh, to, to kind of keep the songs to myself and then kind of really labor over like if I'm really going to play it or not. But this does push you to write new songs and then and finish songs. That's another thing. Um, songwriters are really, really good about like starting things and then not finishing them. I mean, that is part of our job. And anyway, I'm going to play a brand new uh new one if that's okay can i do that can somebody give me a, a thumbs up or something like um so th the prompt for this one okay good uh the prompt was a picture a picture prompt not a word prompt and the picture was okay thanks brad got a yes okay it's a picture prompt and the photo was from the inside of a house like looking out and the inside of the house was a mess and the windows were broken and um, you know just looked out on kind of doom and gloom and I thought oh well okay and so I really didn't take much of what it was looking out into the window but I focused on the house itself 
because I felt like the, that the house was kind of representing a person and how we all have those like broken, messy pieces inside of us. And it's like, how, how do you love yourself with those pieces, you know, because that sometimes dealing with that can be hard. And um, and in the simultaneously as we had the prompt, I went to a yoga class down at Moxie, which is my favorite place, and I can I can post about it later um, to go work out. And the yoga instructor Emily, who's amazing, she said while we were doing our practice, when it was hard, when it was really hard, she's like, "This is an inside job," you know, like. What do you tell yourself? How do you talk to yourself when things are hard? Are you negative? Are you positive? You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a big distinction, you know? And how we talk to ourselves is how we shape our life. And I actually put that line in the song. So this is a song called Inside Job. So thanks, Emily, for giving me that idea. Morning cup of coffee Raise my eyes up Mirror, mirror on the wall Why are you so tough?
almost passed out a little bit. I've only played that like three times. And I'm like for real people twice. And te when I was down in Texas, by the way, Texas was super fun. I have to tell you, like you can get not even almost through a song and they're like, woo, -hoo, having the best time. And you know, Minnesotans, do you, you know what you do? You know what you do. Like I can see your faces from the stage and they look a lot like this when we start our shows. Don't tell me that I'm not wrong. No, tell me I'm not wrong. Cause you know I'm right, Minnesotans. You know how you can be. We can be cold just like the weather, right? I'm gonna do a cover song because I wanna sing this one. Do you guys know that when I was a kid I was obsessed with Crystal Gale? Thanks, Mitch. Um, Mitch likes the new song. Mitch has a, got a top fan badge there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that's awesome. Um, I was obsessed with Crystal Gale when I was a little kid, like in a very serious way. I wanted to, to be tall. I wanted to have her hair, like her long hair. And, you know, none of those things happened for me. That's okay. Um, but I was obsessed, obsessed with her Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue song. I would run, run, walk through the house. I had my 1970s, like, bowl cut. And I had this microphone that had, it wasn't connected to anything. And I would just walk around the house and swing my, my bowl cut and sing that song over and over and over and over and over and over again. It drove my mom nuts. And um, so then, then she did get me a Dolly Parton record after that. So that's all, that's all good. Um, I wanted to do a, a cover song for my last album, Steady Heart. And, um, but I, I wanted first, I wanted two things. I wanted it to be something special. And I also wanted it to, to that from my childhood. And then I also wanted to kind of mess with it a little bit because one of my favorite things to do is to um, take something that you know that's familiar and change it. And one of the things that I find when I do covers and change them, like I did an Emmy Lou uh, Harris um, San Antone Rose, I'll be your San Antone Rose. I mean, on Sunday, maybe I'll play that one. That song is like, whoo, smoking tempo, really fast song. And I put it, made it a piano ballad with like lots of harmonies on it. You can listen to it on Spotify if you want. And I love how, how it turned out. And um, so did Spotify because they put it on a bunch of playlists. So, hey, there you go. Um, so this one, I always find a little magic in slowing down a tempo. I think that that, um, I don't know. I, I like to start there first, at least. I also like to start by printing out the lyrics. And if you read this song in not thinking about Crystal, you can read this song as somebody who's like, you know what, I treated you pretty bad and you left. And I have this new eye color, totally okay with that. And then also like I got my Netflix and I think I'm okay. I think I'm really okay. You can read that song like that, kind of sassy, like, all right, whatever. So there's a lot of like whatever in this, this cover. So. This is Crystal Gale's Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue. Don't know when I've been so blue. Don't know what's come.
didn't mean to treat you bad. I didn't You've gone and found someone new And don't it make my brown eyes Don't it make my brown eyes blue <laughs> There you go. Crystal Gale's on Twitter. You guys can tell her. I'll let you guys tell her that she should maybe listen to this cover, huh? Wouldn't that be fun? She's still playing shows. I mean, that's amazing. Um, so I'm, I'm hopefully going into the studio in April. We'll see if that happens now with everything going on. Um, if we don't, we'll, we'll figure out another time to do it. But one of the songs that we're going to do, we're going to do a cover is, um, and I would love feedback on this, if you're like, Vicki, that's a wrong move. Go ahead, you can say that. This is a safe place. Is um, Betty Davis eyes. I mean, come on. Yes, I'm feeling a lot of yes on that. But if there's a no out there, I'll, you can tell me. So there's also, um, if you are feeling generous, there is a tip jar and you can do a PayPal or a Venmo. There, all my shows got canceled for March, so anything would be real appreciated because it's a real bummer. Musicians spend a lot of time actually behind the computer setting up the gig in order to play it for 60 minutes. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of time to get onto the stage um, and organize all that stuff. So it's, it's a little heartbreaking when they all start going away from your calendar, right? Oh, Brad, Brad is open to this. Okay, good. This is good. Brad, Brad's open to the uh, Betty Davis eyes. I do. I watched the video of that. Oh my gosh. It is like 80s gold. You gotta go check that out. While you're on YouTube, if you wanted to subscribe to my channel and then watch some of my music videos like 500 times a piece, that would be amazing. I'd so appreciate that. I mean, what else would we have to do, really? You know? Do you know what I did tonight? I... I made a pizza for my kid in the uh, kids in the oven um, of frozen pizza. Yes. And I actually let it heat up before I actually put the frozen pizza in the oven tonight. I don't know if I've ever done that, you guys. It turned out great. Go figure. Huh? And I love to cook, but that kind of stuff, I'm like, they're usually like so hungry, like rabid hungry, even though all they did was snack all day. It's like, okay, I'm going to make dinner. And then today I was like, oh, I have time. So I preheated the oven and, and it, even the kids were like, this is amazing. I'm like, yeah, I've totally been making frozen pizza wrong for years. So that's okay. Hey, learning new things. Don't be afraid of that. Okay, are there any other requests here? I'm seeing people. I, I missed a bunch of comments. I'm sorry. Hmm, ba, 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 ba. I got a couple more here. I'm going to sing a love song. Hey, yes, let's do that. I'm gonna sing the title track. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna do this again on Sunday. So, and on Sunday, I think I might set up over here, my piano is over there, and play some piano songs, because I know, <laughs> I know some of the feedback I'm gonna get, primarily, maybe from my mom, but like, why don't you play the piano, play the piano. So, I'll play some songs on the piano tomorrow or on Sunday, Sunday at seven. This is an old song that I wrote. This is called Dance With Me. <clears throat> I've sung this one at a bunch of weddings. So I, I like to lend my songs out for that kind of stuff. 
Yeah. I just put new strings on my guitar and it's cranky. Do you guys know what it means to have a cranky guitar? And she's kind of cranky anyway. Do you guys know how I got this guitar? Some of you might. This is a rescue. This is a free bird. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Um, I got this guitar from the creepiest guy in Minneapolis. I tried to find a um, vintage guild and my friend found one for me um, on Craigslist because I hate Craigslist. And he sent me the link and so I called up the guy and it was like this old cranky guy and also strange because immediately he started telling me about his health problems and I do have a long history of old men telling me their health, health problems but that's another time. Um, another another night for that story. Uh, anyway, he um, he's like talking about his hips and all this stuff. I'm like, um, dude, I, I'm calling about the guitar, not your, I'm not like your doctor or anything. And so he um, he's like, oh, and he just started rambling. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna meet you, but I'm gonna meet you in a very public place. So I met him at the Kowalski's parking lot um, that's not far from my house. And uh, he pulls in this like with this green minivan with the with the windows are all blacked out and I'm like and then he roll kind of rolls out of the car because you know of his hip and then he comes and walks over to me and I'm like I can just tell he wants to touch me and he's just like and I was like oh you know and 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 he's he's not a well-kept individual he's anywhere between like 50 and 100 years old I'm just like who are you right he's missing all these like a lot of teeth and he's like, oh, I got the guitar. So then he says, oh, but I got the guitar, but Vicky, um, it's my sliding doors on my minivan are all jammed up. So can you, I'm going to pop the hatch in the back and then can you, uh, can you get in the minivan and get the guitar for me? I'm like, are you kidding, dude? I'm like, I've seen every episode of Dexter. I've seen Silence of the Lambs like three times. Like I'm not getting in your creepy van dude I'm not doing that who would do that so he he gets you know he struggles but he gets the guitar out and I'm like okay okay and he I was like prepared for him to give it to me to play it no he starts playing it in the parking lot cars are going around him like who is this dude you know and I'm like, oh my gosh I just want to buy it I can't just want to buy it so he finally hands me the guitar and asks my last name, which I do not tell him. And then uh, I give him the cash and then I head back to my car and I can hear him shuffling behind me. And he says, hey, Vicky, do you, you want to sit in my van? We can look at pictures of Willie Nelson together. It's like, I mean, what, what about this? thinks I want to do that. You know, it was just so strange. I just looked at him, I go, nope. And I got in my car and then I drove home. It took me like 25 minutes because I was going like down every side street to make sure he didn't follow me. But so this, this is a rescue, okay? This guild is a rescue. And I feel like some days I wonder about that guy, like what other guitars and possibly human beings he has locked away in his basement. And that's, that's creepy. Who does that? He's watching right now. Don't do that again. It scares people. All right, this is a love song. <clears throat> Your heart and 
play that song and like people dance you know it's always such a I'm a I'm a squishy one that way it always gets me a little choked up all right I've got one more song for you friends one more uno mas and I'm gonna go put my kids to bed because it's been kind of a long day yes and um and let's just stay in touch I think the more that we check in with each other the better it's gonna be I posted today. If, I, if I'll keep a steady heart, maybe you can too, huh? Yeah, we can do this. All right. Oh, I'm gonna do Under My Skin. Because I was supposed to have a house concert at these very nice people's house tonight. I think this was one of them that he put on there. Um, so I will see you, hopefully, on Sunday. If you had fun, tell a friend, you know? Also, I don't know if any of you are watching Shrill, but it's amazing. It's on Hulu, and I'm really sad because we finished it, and now I have to become addicted to something else. So if you have any also suggestions on things, I've watched Killing Eve, as I did that one, and I did uh, Marvelous Miss Maisel. So you know, if you, giving you those uh, kind of benchmarks is like my, my kind of TV. So if you've got some recommendations, I would also love that too, because when the kids go to bed, then Joe and I watch some TV. So. Thanks for watching.
be on my phone all night because I'm bored I did two Sunday suppers two of them and it was a real riot last week um they're like 20 minute shows I'm doing this little series from my kitchen where I talk about what I'm cooking and then I last week we had a special guest because the first week you guys just loved loved when the doorbell rang which was not planned and um and so the, everybody's like well who was at the door and i was like oh my gosh they were paying for girl scout cookies but i had no idea like this was a thing so i had the doorbell ring and in walked my friend annie fitzgerald last week and we sang songs in my kitchen and it was amazing so if you just scroll down my page you can find them and watch them all right well we will see you on sunday thanks liz um and thanks glenn glad to see you guys here we'll see you later take care guys <laughs>